haven't seen him yet, but sometimes I have two shadows. I feel him moving around downstairs. Perhaps he's watching me now. Until a few days ago I was using the whole house. Except of course those places we don't like to talk about. All these years since you left, I was careful to sleep by day and use the nights for listening. I keep a fold in the rug on the landing and I check it every morning. I'd started to think maybe he'd gone away. As if he would. I think he's close now, and he must know I'm in here. We were just children, exploring. Behind that door, deep in the basement, was a small thing, dead. He wanted to take it up. Leave it, I said, just leave it alone. But of course, the damage is already done. If you turn around, he'd be there. said that word first. Not it. No, never it. He. I'll never dare turn around. We never went down there if we could avoid it. Time passed and everyone else faded away. Leaving you and me on our own. Why should both of us keep watch, you said. Not for long, he said. You'd go on ahead, send word back when everything was ready. Why did I agree to that? So, for 16 years I sat in this house, listening, watching for small things out of place and growing hopeful. Waiting here, here, alone, alone, until a fold, gone from a rug, reminded me. No options left after that. At last it was time for me to turn around. I struggled not to fall as I finally stepped back into the soft fear of childhood. shadow without light. And so I find myself in my present state, one step ahead of staring all that in the face. I know I can't stay in here forever, I know that. Another hour, 
Maybe three or four. I'll make a break for it. When it's a bit brighter, I'll step outside this last safe room, edge down the stairs, past a coal landing, and if I keep my head, I'll be in with a good chance. Good chance.